Hello again, my dears. All right. So now we are on the identifying and describing mechanical, kinetic, and gravitational potential. So if we look at this bouncing ball, we have one, two, three. I'm also going to add a four. Okay. So this ball goes down, then this ball comes up. So at each part, we have to identify which one it has, and we're going to get more specific with mechanical. Is it K to P or is it P to K? And our becauses are going to be important as well. So at number one, it it's at the top of its bounce, and I know that any time something is at the very top, is it going to be mechanical, kinetic, or gravitational potential? Think to yourself. Hopefully you're like, oh, it's at the top, and so there's a spot where it's not moving. So gravitational potential energy, because it's at the top, and it's not moving. Okay? Number two, on the way down, is it going to have mechanical, kinetic, or gravitational potential? Hopefully you said it's going to have mechanic, and then we have to get more specific. Is it K to P or P to K? If I know that this one is gravitational mm -hmm. potential, I know that it starts at gravitational potential. So this one must be P to K. I know this because it is losing height. It is gaining speed. Then number three, at the bottom of its bounce, no height, all movement. Hopefully you realize that was kinetic energy, right? No height, movement. And then at spot four, it's going up, so it's in the middle of its bounce. Which one is it? Hopefully you thought to yourself that must be mechanical. Now we have to figure out K to P or P to K. Well, if it's going up, it's starting at kinetic and it's getting higher, so it's K to P. And we know this because it is gaining height. That's why it's gaining potential and slowing down. That's why it's losing kinetic. All right. You are going to have a few questions on this, and I'll see you back for your last video.